2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and Rich, we are here at Paradise, beautiful Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach, one of the most iconic golf courses in the United States of America. I think it's on everybody's bucket list who's ever played the game. The greats have won here, Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, Tiger Woods. It's just one of these golf courses you almost have to see to believe. The holes along the ocean, starting with, I'm gonna say the fourth hole, and then you go to the fifth, but once you make your way up to the sixth, after your second or third shots, from there, the golf course is just a dream. Scenic everywhere, you just love to be at Pebble Beach. I don't care what kind of mood you're in before you get there, but when you walk off the 18th green every single time off of Pebble Beach, you're happy, but you also might be a little sad knowing that you just are leaving one of the most beautiful spots on the earth. Love Pebble Beach. Today is promising to be an exciting one. So let's get straight into the action. Quality shot, that one. Rich, a little bit of undulation change here at the opening hole. The ball will be below the player's feet on this approach to the first green, so they need to take that into consideration. You might want to play for a little bit of a slice shot. That could play. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Right by the hole. And this one is for his par. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole played. And as we head to the second tee, the first of the par fives, and as we talked about, you've got to get off to a great start at Pebble Beach. Absolutely, a par five that almost every player should be able to reach into. Just avoid the bunkers right and left, and you're going to have a clean shot into a very narrow green. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Nicely done from close range. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 175 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. was special just a four footer remaining don't want to miss it could be costly they'll be soaring high if this goes in this one for eagle oh terrific what an effort currently a couple under for the round Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. Here we have it, trying to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. Andy effort, that one. Second shot here on the third.
Going with the 9-iron, I think. This is looking pretty good in the air. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Currently at minus three for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Rich, we get our first look at the beach here at Pebble Beach. This fourth is a short one, but beguiling. It is just around the 325 yard mark. Most players tend to lay up and just have a wedge for their second. However, the big sticks, they can go ahead and take a rip at it, but beware, the beach lurks closely down the right-hand side. Well struck. John, give us a small update. Hey guys, we are checking in here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the eighth. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the fourth. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. to be going with the six iron. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Now eight shots back after that hole. The sixth hole here, Richard Pebble Beach, is a tale of two halves, isn't it? A strong tee shot down the hill towards the ocean, and then the second, the approach shot back up the hill. There's no doubt about it, Luke. This is just a spectacular par five. The beauty of it, though, is that you can mess it up in a hurry. This is a very difficult par five. Don't make any bones about it. Yeah, that one will play. And what's in front of them there, Henny? They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much higher. They're definitely going to have to club up. It's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. That might not have found the green there, Rich, but that is a brilliant play right up on the fringe. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. That's a great punt to make, especially for an eagle. And that will take him to seven under. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. Let's go to John Rahm. This is their fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We head across to the par three seventh. We always talk about it in golf. It doesn't need to be a long one to be a great one. Luke, this could be one of the most picturesque par threes in all of golf. Who says great par threes need to be more than 150 yards? Not a single one of them. I love this hole. Well, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. 
Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. Yeah, I got to say, check this shot out and what a shot it was indeed. Beamer, that was right out of your playbook. A touch of wizardry. And back to the play, shall we? Always nice to have a birdie putt. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to eight under. He's currently tied for 11th. Well, after the beauty of the seventh, we go to the beast that is the eighth. Is there a tougher two shot on the property? Not to my knowledge, no. At just around 425 yards, you're going to lay up to the end of the fairway. No driver needed. But the second shot is where it gets difficult. Downhill, a very small green. You knock it on here in two, and you've done well. Lovely effort, that. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Sitting at eight under. A chance to move into the top ten. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Such soft hands. He's currently tied for 13th. Pebble Beach has a terrific stretch of par four, starting from the eighth right through to the end of the 11th. Let's take a look at the ninth. This is an interesting hole because it wants to make you aim left, but there's a bunker there that you need to avoid. Funny enough, there's a lot more room out to the right than what you can see off the tee. A very strong par four to finish the front nine. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from around 135 yards. This one's going right at the pin here. That's inside the range. What a shot. Phenomenal shot. Kick in birdie. Well done. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Oh, that is brilliant. A bonus birdie. That'll help make a big move. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And as we continue alongside the beach, the coastline here, it is a spectacular scene, the 10th, isn't it? It certainly is. I don't know if I love any hole more at Pebble Beach than this one right here. You want to aim down the left-hand side, but avoid those big bunkers. And from there, you want to try and land it short of the screen and bounce it on. Anything landing on the green, though, could go shooting over the green and into a nasty spot. Chosen the pitching wedge here. They've decided to club up. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. The putt drops and that's back-to-back -back birdies. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Here's Brooke Henderson's next shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Well, Rich, we start to head home, but first we've got to head up the hill on this short par 4 11th. Thankfully, a breather hole after the last few. This is just a three wood. Could be a driver up the hill. Second shot, very short, but beware, this green pitches severely from back to front. Watch the spin on your second shot.
Well, that's a handy shot. Yikes! That one had eyes for the flag the whole way. That's some good golf right there. And stepping up the standings after that effort. The first of the back nine par threes is the 12th. And this is a mean one, not gonna lie, it's mean. It's right around 185 yards, but the green, once again, very tiny. You come up short in that deep bunker, you're bound to make a four. This one looks to be heading towards the green. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Beautiful shot. Just two shots back after that hole. Rich, let's head to the 13th tee at Pebble Beach, shall we? And uh, what's the decision off the tee? Aim it right, just shy of those bunkers on the right-hand side, and you've got a mid-iron for your second shot back up the hill. Again, a green that pitches severely from back to front as well as right to left. Pretty good shot there. Here's a look at Rambo from a moment ago. Third shot now. Nice putt to make that one. And back to the course with the live action. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? You like that, didn't you? And a chance to move into a tie for second here. These are on rails, looking good. That gets the job done. He's currently tied for second. As we head to the 14th, I know the 18th gets all the attention here at Pebble Beach, but this is a strong par five. Oh, this is a good one. I love this par five. Just hit it just down the left-hand side. You can't reach the far bunkers down the left. Lay up with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood, but watch out. This third shot gets awfully tricky.
Second shot here on the 14th hole. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. This putt for top spot on the leaderboard. Super shot that, and that's going to hoist him into first place. Let's head over to the 18th hole, shall we? Playing their fourth shot. And the shot will drop for birdie. What a way to sign off on a round. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And just a couple more inland holes before we head back to the ocean, Rich, the 15th. Hitting it anywhere down the left-hand side off the tee will find one of those deep bunkers, so you need to avoid those. Hit it out to the right, which will leave a great second shot into this green. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Oh, almost went in. Nicely done. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. Rich the 16th, not a long par four, but really requires some accuracy on approach. It does lay up to the top of the hill and you can look down on this green, which pitches severely from right to left. Just a wonderful short par four. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Oh, yeah, what a shot that was. Ah, uh, nicely done. Great chip. OK, let's get back to the action. Playing from around 110 yards out. He leads the field by a stroke. This one is all over it. Wow, what a shot. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Right over the spot they were looking at. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's head to seven. One of the most famous par threes in all of golf, Rich. Yes, just over 175 yards on the cart. It's a tail of two greens. When the pin is up front right, it's a birdie opportunity. Back left, find the green, make your three, and sprint to the 18th tee box. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, right by the hole. An opportunity for a birdie here. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a couple of strokes. The 
Rich, as we find our way to the 18th tee. Few holes in golf capture the imagination more than the finishing hole here at Pebble Beach. So much history on this hole. Aim it at the trees right in the center and hope you don't get unlucky and get underneath one of them. From there, it's going to be a layup out to the right and just a short third shot. What a wonderful, wonderful finishing hole. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 195 yards. Going with the six iron here. Woo, back there, horsey. Ooh. That was a sensational play. Oh, tidy looking shot, that. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Yeah, this is looking nice. The putt drops, and this play.